Good morning petrol heads, El Steve here. Hope you're all good out there. I'm very good myself. It's a lovely sunny autumn morning here in the UK. It's around 10.30am. It's Friday morning, so that means the latest episode of the Grand Tour Top Gear 2 has just been released uh, yesterday evening. I think it was midnight last night on Amazon Prime. Operation Desert Stumble. The big question is, is their sophomore album as good as their debut? Obviously last week wasn't their debut, but last week was a smash. Absolutely killed it. Everyone was raving about the Grand Tour last week. A whole week all I've heard is, wow, it's so much better than Top Gear. Wow, Clarkson's off the leash. Wow, these three are so good. The show was just brilliant and it was a massive middle finger to the BBC and it's just so good. A question being this morning, Operation Desert Stumble. Does it live up to the hype? Is this series going to be an upward curve or is it going to be starting off brilliant and... Let me tell you, Operation Desert Stumble is a very, very, very good episode. There are some seriously funny moments. There's a couple of bits about this new format that I'm not massively keen on. But Clarkson is still off the hinge. There's jokes about gun crime and Oscar Pistorius, obviously with them being in Johannesburg, um, were very, very funny. But the banter between these three is what makes Top Gear, <laughs> the Grand Tour, so good. And it's like, Hammond's beard is a little bit scary. Clarkson is completely unhinged. Um, James May looks like he's just trying to find time to um, nip off for a snooze. But there was cars too. Um, the Aston Martin Vulcan, fucking hell, that is such a nice car, it's the, probably the nicest car I've ever, ever seen, and seeing Clarkson trying to get into it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. This, the bit that fell down for me was the, the action bit in the, Jor, in the Jordanian thing where they were living out their Call of Duty fantasies or whatever it is, and it looked like three middle-aged men who kind of went paintballing but a bit more extreme the thing that held it together was their banter the jokes are quite clearly scripted but Hammond they still managed to pull them off especially Hammond that's it though that's the only negative about it the the tent is brilliant they're still that it's just top gear but better and the format of the show is very, very much the same as the original Top Gear. There's a few tweaks, and you can see where Amazon have given them license. You can see where Amazon, like the bit with Celebrity Brainwash, um, Charlie's Theron getting eaten by a lion or whatever it was. The draft at the start, looking down the camera, was kind of funny. Um, you can see where Amazon have given them license, and I, if it's going to continue uh, with like they did with uh, the Jordanian base, they're going to have bits like that every week. Now, in the first episode, their story bit really worked amazingly well. In the second episode, for me, not so much. It's still... still a, it's hard to be negative because it's still so much better than anything else on TV in this kind of programme. It still absolutely kicks the shit out of anything the BBC have ever done. So, as much as I wasn't massively keen on it, I still loved that, that part of the show, the banter kept it together but it was just I don't know there, there's a, f a bit a few bits that are too scripted and obviously there's certain things in the show that the BBC would never ever have let happened um, but you, you the, the everyone's been raving about this show this week um, the grand tour is the best thing that's happened to Amazon and all their subscriptions have gone up and Clarkson is a different man and these three are so much better now they've left the BBC and this, this is so much better than Top Gear. It's basically Top Gear 2, guys. But it's going to be difficult to carry on the hype from the first episode all the way through. They did a very, very good job of it this week with Operation Desert Stumble. It was still a really, really entertaining hour of TV. I would still recommend that um, if you liked your Top Gear on a Sunday, you will love this hour of um, the Grand Tour. You will absolutely love it, I promise. Um... It's going to be kind of difficult to review this show every week because it's very formulaic. 
there isn't that much difference. The Aston Martin Vulcan, what can I say? It was That is an amazing, amazing car. I would buy that car in a heartbeat if I had the money. I really, really would. I'd buy that car in a heartbeat. Just thinking about it could make me cry. It was so good. And watching Clarkson, like I said, watching Clarkson trying to get into it is pretty funny. Um, a bit with Hammond where he says, let's dance. The joke about cocktail. There's some really, really funny belly laugh bits in this episode. And I... I'm, really, I'm looking forward to episode 3 and I just think, yeah, I think they've departed from the BBC, they've got past the hype stage, they've given us another episode, we've seen that it can still be brilliant and I think we can just sort of move on now knowing that this is going to be a weekly dose of fantastic television. That's that's my opinion on the Grand Tour anyway, guys. Um, that's my review of Operation Desert Stumble. I want to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. I'm going to use the end of this video to announce a giveaway on this channel. Uh, one lucky subscriber is going to win a DVD Blu-ray of Westworld Season 1. Uh, I'm getting a free copy, given personally, to give away on the channel. Um, with the proviso that I give it away on video and pick, pick the winner live on camera, which I will absolutely do. That's not a problem at all. So basically, the way to enter this giveaway is subscribe to the channel and you entered. That's it. The day that this DVD arrives on my doorstep, Blu-ray season one of Westworld, the day that it arrives on my doorstep, I will sit and make a video and I will draw a lucky subscriber out. If you live in America, Australia, Antarctica, Mars, Jupiter, the, Mil the other side of the Milky Way, I will post you this blu-ray if you win if i pick your name out and it's completely random none of my friends or family can win it's completely random for my subscribers not my friends or family if you subscribe to this channel you're in chance to win with uh, westworld season one blu-ray and i will i will pay for postage to send it anywhere in the world so that's how you enter subscribe to the channel you want to give yourself free chances get free friends to subscribe Give yourself more chance but the aim is to have this on your doorstep by christmas this dvd is out for christmas i've been told it's out for christmas the aim is to have it with you for christmas but if i can't have it with you for christmas it will be with you as soon as i've drawn it i will take it to the post office and i will post it and you'll have it however long it takes to get to antarctica if there's any subscribers in antarctica but this giveaway is 100 percent happening i'll be doing the same thing on the facebook page um, but that's a completely separate giveaway, but there will be a giveaway for the Facebook page Westworld news and updates and for El Stevo channel Sorry to do this on a grand tour video I will make another little video announcing the giveaway But I just want this to get out to the most people as possible subscribe to the channel to be in with a chance of winning Westworld season 1 on DVD uh, That's pretty much it guys. It's nearly the weekend. I'm gonna do I might do a preview of the Formula One World Championship showdown on Sunday, tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty nervous, want Lewis to win and all that. But yeah, uh, if you want to enter, subscribe, please share the video. The Grand Tour, I've got sidetracked with the review. Operation Desert Stumble was an absolutely brilliant episode. A couple of bits I didn't like, but other than that, Clarkson, Hammond and May, geniuses. This is El Stevo, catch you on the flip side guys. Peace!